Have you ever needed to add quotes around a piece of text? Or maybe you need to add some type of bracket around a piece of code. In version 17.9 of Visual Studio 2022, surrounding text with brackets or quotes just became a lot easier. Let's look at how to enable this feature. Now, for most of my training, I worked to give an in-depth perspective on technology, including best practices and implementation details. However, sometimes you just need to get a quick introduction to a topic. That's why I created this 10-minute training series. So here in Visual Studio, I have a simple demo. And in fact, let's run this demo just to see the results so you can see you know, what's happening. It gives us two values. One, it gives you the value of 23 which is the result of five times four plus three. Notice there's an order of operations here. If you're not familiar with math, what happens is you use the multiplication and division first, and it goes left to right, and then we do the addition and subtraction left to right. And what we're doing here is five times four is 20, plus three is 23, all right? So, you know, yeah, there's your math lesson for the day. We're gonna change that in just a minute. But then down here, we're saying the answer to the math problem is result. Now, we're already printing it out once, but we want to print it out again with this nicer way of saying things. But notice we're not printing the variable. We're just printing the name of the variable. So we're going to change both of those things in just a minute. Now, to turn on this feature, you need to, yes, turn it on. It's not enabled by default because it does change how Visual Studio works. This is one of those things that Microsoft is trying to do, which is to not disrupt your current workflow. If you're happy with the way things work, then don't do anything. But if you want to try this out, go to Tools, Options, and then in the Text Editor, in General, under Display, you'll see this checkbox right here. I've got it checked already. Automatically surround selections when typing quotes or brackets. All right, so you want to make sure that's checked. Hit OK. And now, let's say I want to change the order of operations in this math problem. Well, I can do that by using parentheses. So if I highlight 4 plus 3 and I hit my open parentheses, it wraps the whole thing in one. And now my order of operations will be different, which means I'll get a different value. It's now 35. So that shows us that the has changed, of course, you know, again, math, uh, that's now seven times five, but it's really simple to add those parentheses. And I can do the same thing down here with result. I need to wrap that in curly braces. There we go, done. Or maybe, you know what, let's just give an example here. Maybe I want to say, you know, I'm going to say that math and kind of put that in quotes, but I want to do single quotes because we're using double quotes. No problem. I hit the single quote when highlighting math and it surrounds it with single quotes. Or maybe, and this wouldn't actually work in our code, but maybe you want this whole line to be in double quotes, just hit double quotes. Or maybe you want it to be in square brackets. Or I'm gonna undo it here, maybe you want it to be in the curly braces and so on. You can do curly braces, you can do square brackets, you can do the uh, angle brackets. So you can you can do that and wrap the whole thing or you know whatever you need in those angle brackets. You can do parentheses, you can do single quotes, double quotes. This is a really nice feature. It's one that I love, and I love the fact that it's in Visual Studio now, so we can go ahead and uh, just start highlighting things and and you know changing how things work based upon us. And again, we'll run this real quick to show you that, yeah, it does you know pick up those curly braces, and now it says the answer to the quote unquote math problem is 35. So there you go. That's how you use that simple little feature, but it's a simple little feature that really, I think, takes Visual Studio to the next level when it comes to being a text editor. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.